Cameroon Gender and Environment Watch (CAMJU) is a non-profit organization established in October 2007. CAMJU works locally while thinking globally, integrating gender issues to solve environmental problems in Cameroon. It prioritizes social and environmental justice in its development efforts, collaborating with like-minded organizations worldwide. Kamju's initiative in the Cameroon Highlands focuses on forest users, on the privileged children and peasant women. They promote conservation with a gender perspective by involving local communities in forest regeneration, tree nurseries, agroforestry, sustainable agriculture, apiculture, the revitalization of indigenous conservation practices, managing farmer grazer conflict, empowering women and entrepreneurs, and advocating for social and environmental issues. By December 2023, Kamju's efforts in the 20,000 hectare kilometer forest benefited over 80,000 people, 70% of whom were women. These achievements can be replicated in other regions to enhance conservation and women's participation in climate actions. In February 2022, Kamju launched the Strengthening Gender Equality for National and International Ambitions of Climate Policies Regain Project to support beekeeping and agroforestry in the West and Adamawa regions of Cameroon. I am Savidam Ernestine Lekeke, and I'm one of the founding members of Cameroon Gender and Environment Watch, Kamju. Uh, I'm the Women Empowerment Officer, and in the Women Empowerment Office, it's not like the regular Women Empowerment Office that we find in other places, which is focused only on economic potentials of women and developing uh, enterprises by women. Uh, we, we work on engaging women in engaging women in conservation activities. My name is Immaculate Berignoy. I am the project officer under the Regain project. Under this project, as the project officer, I had as role to plan project activities, to collaborate with other team members to make sure that the activities planned are well carried out effectively. And I also had as role to make sure that the feedback from the M and E officer are being taken into consideration. I also work in collaboration with the project coordinator to make sure that reporting is being carried out on time. My name is Tanya Wiesel. I'm the assistant project officer for Kamji Magba branch and I am the monitor and evaluation officer for Regain project. Uh, it's my duty to always make sure that I follow up the beneficiaries. The, I work with them, I see the challenges that they are facing on ground. Then I work with the project officer and together with the project coordinator and we try to bring up to suggest solutions and how to tackle the challenges that the community member face. This project aims to build resilient models, integrating gender and contributing to national climate plans and post-COVID-19 recovery, strengthen the organization's capacity for implementation and advocacy and enhance national climate policy and economic recovery. The first phase of the REGAIN project, which was in February 2022 to February 2025, benefited communities in Jimom and Makba West Region and Banking and Mayodali Adamawa Region. Achievements include bushfire education, which engaged 2,380 women and reached over 500,000 people through radio programs, reducing bushfire incidents by 37%. Agroforestry and nursery development, which trained over 436 people in agroforestry, promoting organic farming, pest management, and soil regeneration.
Honey Valley Chain Development trained 125 people in honey production, supported with 250 beehives, and empowered 570 people in honey and beeswax product transformation, promoting local enterprise development. Farmer Grazer Conflict Management educated 224 people on partnership approaches for organic farming and animal grazing. The project also formed three women-led cooperatives supported with tools and training in leadership, management, product packaging and marketing. These cooperatives promote sustainable agriculture, honey production and conservation efforts. Regain project engaged Kamju in national and international networking, improving its visibility and impact. So it inspired me for bee farming and because it instead uh, inspired me more because Kamju. We don't count trendy for make a uh, half of make beef and and first you be done the uh, most say beef and day but you know you keep the interest of it. Then can you come now? You can really teach we half of makeup. Then we continue for the makeup and it will be heavy because uh, when you don't make your high, go put on a forest. If you make a uh, time for honey to reach. <coughs> Then you can uh, harvest your honey, you go sell her. Family benefit for this. Now you uh, it interest me because they give you income. This project has helped Kamji to know that the dream team make the dream work. Uh, under this project, we have been able to expose ourselves, some of our members, to international events. Uh, it is very important to note that it is under this project that I was able to attend COP27 in Egypt where I learned and interacted with global diversity. However, challenges remain such as limited financial and technical support for cooperatives, lack of irrigation systems, insufficient research on known timber forest products, and the need for better mobility and advocacy efforts. Addressing gender-based violence and promoting education for girls are also critical. The difficulty, so I don't face them for these seven years. Now say, this what is do they say now because market not the eyes it will be for first time. They now because uh, you know say crisis there for outside. Now you don't make with the first challenges, with the first difficulties. Two and the be has to when. Uh, uh, this, how it is so small time. Sometimes if you come with how it is so we don't come out going, going. Mm -hmm. You know, still see I'm the, now one of the, the, the difficulties. Uh -huh. Je m'appelle Omar Osanda. Je suis le, le point focal de, de l'ONG Kamju. Ici à Mouaï Darle. Pour l'implication des femmes, on, nous avons effectué tous les séances de formation et les femmes étaient présentes. On les a expliqué comment eux-mêmes ils peuvent entrer dans, dans l'activité apicole. 
et on s'est rendu compte que eux, ils aimaient la plupart n'ont pas le financement ou bien la, la plupart sont, sont engagés mais, mais ils, ils rencontrent des difficultés au niveau par rapport à leur mari ou bien un truc déjà. Lessons from Regain Phase 1 include the importance of women's land rights, cultural diversity and the potential of grassroots women in conservation and community development. Empowered women are crucial for sustainable livelihood and community leadership. Visibility tools for feminist interventions can promote global replication Overall, the project directly benefited 4,381 people, 80% of which were women, and indirectly reached over 600,000 people. It was supported by French Development Agency, Women Engaged for a Common Future, and other partners. This collaborative effort highlights the strength of a feminist approach in conservation and climate action. In October 2023, Kanju and the Regain Project communities welcomed women engaged for a common future, partners from France, underscoring the importance of international cooperation for feminist conservation efforts. Kanju's work in the Western Adamawa regions also attracted other financial and technical partners including Daughters for Earth, Green Livelihood Alliance, Creative Action Institute, and Northwest Bee Farmers Messenger. Locally, various stakeholders including cultural leaders, women leaders, and administrators collaborated with Kamju to realize these achievements. The newly formed cooperatives need financial resources and technical support to establish cooperative farms which will encourage collective learning and production. With climate change and advancing Sahel conditions, cooperatives need local irrigation systems to support agroforestry and beekeeping during hot seasons. More research is needed to identify and document non-timber forest products. An agroforestry training center would facilitate this research and empower local farmers in soil conservation, organic crop cultivation, and tree nursery development. Increased efforts are needed to involve girls in climate action, agroforestry and conflict management, preparing future women leaders, and bridging the gender gap. The project team requires better mobility solutions such as a four-wheel drive vehicle to navigate the challenging road conditions in the project areas. There is a need to intensify advocacy to ensure that Kamju's interventions are recognized by national administrators and contribute effectively to the national climate roadmap. Addressing gender-based violence and providing scholarships for girls' education are crucial for achieving gender equality and empowering women. Enhancing the visibility of Kamju's work through documentaries, improved social media presence, and timely communication can promote reputation and expansion into other areas. land rights. It's vital to engage cultural leaders and educate them on women's rights to own land. Cultural diversity. Working in diverse cultural environments is challenging yet enriching, offering diverse contributions to women's engagement in climate action and economic activities. Empowerment and growth. The Regain Project has strengthened Kamju's capacity to handle complex reporting requirements and strict administrative procedures, supporting its growth from a local to a global organization. 
under this project i was able to go back to school because i discovered that i had a lot to learn so i went back to school and presently i am doing agronomy uh, in the bamenda university of science and technology and the project coordinator is also back in school doing her, her masters it's my role to make sure that the men in the community are aware about the project so that they can be able to support their women to be part of the project and help the women also to be uh, to build their capacity as far as development is concerned. Nous avons utilisé la technique de sensibilisation au niveau de au niveau de chaque village. This has led to professional development for team members and more empowered women leaders in climate action. Unlocking potential. Grassroots women have significant potential to contribute to conservation and livelihood. Empowering them can lead to active participation in ecological, economic, cultural and social development. Sustainable livelihood. Empowered women contribute to food security, girl child education, economic development and responsible leadership. More women in leadership roles will create a better world. Visibility tools. Developing visibility tools for successful feminist interventions and promote global replication. Investing in these tools is essential. The Regain project directly benefited 4,381 people, 80% of whom were women. Indirect beneficiaries included 6,000 people reached through national networking events and over 500,000 people through bushfire prevention radio programs. Makba Council Radio, which broadcasts to several regions in Cameroon and neighboring Nigeria, played a crucial role in this outreach. The collective efforts of Kamju, its partners, and the local communities have laid a strong foundation for continued success. With ongoing support, the Regain project can expand its impact empowering more women in communities in Cameroon to engage in sustainable conservation practices and climate action. Our work in the West and Adabawa region has been impactful for these years, with thousands of women beneficiaries and women working uh, to advance conservation and, and uh, soil regeneration costs that the world is looking for. We think that there is need for more investment to take the next steps. Cooperatives have created. There is need to assist these cooperatives to restructure their farms. There is need to introduce technology that will help them to cope with the, with the advancement of the Sahel that is coming down from the far north of Cameroon and introducing hot sun and harsh weather such that these cooperatives should, will have yields all throughout the year. There is also need to talk about, to think about storage facilities for these cooperatives and give the women the maximum support that they need. We also think that networking, having these women out of their community to other areas to learn and see what others are doing is essential for these women to evolve fully. We also need to involve more youths into these cooperatives that are created by bringing them to be part of the economic and environmental chain 
that we built since 2022. Working with youth is an area that we need to push forward. And finally, we need to improve collaboration between the cooperative leaders and the administrators that are on the ground, looking at exchange visits between the cooperatives and the administrators facilitated by a civil society organization like Kamju that is on the ground.